What's going on everybody? I'm Aaron. I'm Katie. And today for Thrifty Thursday we're making our very own fish tank with a lot cheaper supplies than what you can uh, usually get at any uh, pet store or anything like that. Um, it sounded really weird when you put it on your head. Yeah, it, it makes like an echo the whole time. So what we're using and getting out some of this debris and pet junk dander. like that, pet dander. Already. Um, <laughs> yeah, already. Uh, so what we're using to, for our tank is a plastic bin. Uh, a lot of people say, well, what are, are they fish friendly? The fact of the matter is you can actually use these things for almost any kind of pet uh, as long as it doesn't chew. So yeah, they're, they're fish friendly. They've been, we've wiped it out. We've, as you can tell, we still, we still have some stuff in there, but it's just, anyway, enough rambling. We uh, got a filter. You want a filter because you want to make sure your fish are going to have fresh flowing water just to kind of keep it from getting stagnant. Uh, you want some gravel. And we've got our gravel from a couple of other projects, plus we've got some extra gravel. Uh, we've got some decorative plants, because fish need something to hide in every now and then, so decorative plants. We've got some bigger decorative rocks here, just to kind of add a little bit more decoration. And we've got our fancy decorations with our dinosaur or alligator skull. Crocodile skull, probably. Who knows? Yeah. And our pirate ship. Now, the pirate ship actually does have a hinge on it, but I will not be using that because I just don't want to have to plug in another pump. So, oh yeah, we also got a uh, glow light. Now, this light helps with like neon tetras and other fish like that that have that natural fluorescence. And we got some gems. So, Katie, now that we've got everything kind of named off, our first step will probably be to go ahead and just start adding rocks to the uh, tank so we'll show you that when we come back okay so now we've got our official tank set up here we've again wiped it out one more time just to be sure so katie go ahead and start pouring in some gravel sorry for the noise all right so we want to kind of shift that gravel around a little bit we're almost there with gravel because you really don't want too much gravel in a tank um you got the scissors thank you all right so like a like butter through a knife. <laughs> I got that backwards. So let's go ahead and add some of our dark meat. And that should be about enough right there. You just want enough to kind of coat. Well, go ahead and add just a little more. Go ahead and add the whole bag. Why not? That's not too much. Yeah, that was just right. I was kind of afraid we may need more. So now that we've got our, and I'll bring the camera up so you can actually see everything in there. In fact, let's go ahead and raise this up just a little more if we can. Of course, my tripod's not going to behave today. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, hello. Okay, got the camera adjusted the way I want it to. And uh, as you can see, we've already got our first set of gravel in here. So now what we're going to do is we're going to add these decorative rocks. Now this gives it kind of a natural pond feel to it. And you really don't want to add too many. You just want to add enough to kind of... Oh, wow, that's loud. Just kind of like maybe a little more on the edges there. Yeah, Katie's going to smooth them out for me. And what this does is it gives it kind of a natural fish bed feel to it because these fish, you want them to feel as close to home as possible. I know these fish aren't home, but all right. And we got a few from another aquarium that were already cultured, so they're actually safe to use. Helps give a natural bacteria to it. So next thing we want to add to our uh, set is we want to go ahead and get the plants kind of buried into the gravel. And the reason you want to bury them in the gravel is if you don't, they'll float. So, Katie, if you want to put... Wait, 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 stickers. I totally forgot about stickers. Uh, that would not be good. Nope. I'm glad I thought about that after I touched it. Because <laughs> that was a... A no-no. Yeah, that's a no-no. You don't want to put any kind of stickers in there with a fish. Oh, these are not going to be good. So, we're going to cut here, and when we come back, we'll have everything in place. Okay, so we've got our decorations in place. And as you can see there, we've got the pirate ship, the skull, and some plants. We've also added our heavier rocks in to kind of help give them a little extra cover. So our next step here with the tank is to 
I'm just making sure I got this thing right, make sure I hang it on there right. So it needs to, basically the hook then needs to go on the inside or outside, inside. So you want to turn it kind of like that. Yep. Now will that sit perfectly on there? Let's hope so. Um, so basically what you want to do is you want to put this so that it's going to siphon out the bad, the bad water give us the fresh water in there and I kind of want to put it on the edge over here yeah. so that way it's got something to hold it in place with that clip alright and our next step will be to add our in the tank light if that's or the above the tank light right? yes it will be on the side okay so it clips on you have the things on the back this is the box yeah here's the instructions yeah, so basically what it does is it you can see where it clips on, hopefully. If not, we can always clip it. You're supposed to hang it on the inside. It won't. I don't think it's going to hang because it's... But anyway, you add your light and all that, and then after that, we'll fill it up with water, and we'll be right back. All right, so now we've got our tank fully decorated. As you can see, we put some gemstones in there. We've primed our pump. Just need to plug it in eventually, and now to pour our water. It's going to, unfortunately. So. Our are probably going to pour. For a couple of minutes, yeah. All right, so let me go get a couple more pictures of that, and we'll be right back. So Katie's right here. I'm right here. Let's get these fish in their home. So you got to be real gentle with pouring fish. I think I'm gonna go. There's one. Ooh. Should I turn off our lamps? Ooh, well, as soon as we get done pouring. Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and get back here and be ready for it. There's two, there's three, there's four, and there's five. All five fish are now officially in their home. In the fish tank. So I just put a pun in there with officially. So as you can see, we've added the light. We figured out a way to put the light here so that it kind of gives them that natural light that they need. All the fish seem to be enjoying their new home. The temperature is just right for them. These fish, the ones we got usually are tropical, so they're about 78 to about 84 degrees. And uh, yeah, I mean, they, they really like they're enjoying their home. So we're gonna cut here, go to the outro, and we'll see you in a couple of minutes. So we figured we'd get a good shot of it at night with, you know, all the lights off except for our blue light. And you can see the neon tetras kind of, they're, they look like they're happy. The guppies are doing their guppy thing. And this one Molly, he's just like, you know, oh, I'm fancy. I'm going <laughs> to swim around in circles around the uh, alligator. But this makes a five gallon tank. So we've got a five gallon to 10 gallon, I think five to 15 gallon uh, yeah. pump uh, running off of it. That keeps that water nice and fresh. It gives them something to swim against. Um, if they need to have it off for a moment, we can always kill it. You know, it's not like it has to, you kind of want it to be on, just kind of give them fresh water. But they now have kind of a nice friendly, you know, fish friendly area that they can go to. They can hide out in the boat. They can hide out in the uh, mouth of the alligator. I don't see this giving them too much of a problem. Uh, so yeah, we'll go ahead and cut here and then we come back final part of the video. So as you can hear, our aquarium is still going strong, but anyway, thanks for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. We follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And uh, let it, leave a comment below. Let us know what you thought about this project. Tell us about any ideas you've got for Thrifty Thursday. We'll be glad to take them. So uh, anyway, thanks for watching and we'll, we'll see, see you in the next video. video.